The Godhead, an Amanita Muscaria trip report by Joe Schmo, posted to Irwid.org January 16th, 2021. Dose, 14 grams of dried Amanita Muscaria caps. Weight, 130 pounds roughly. Method of ingestion, oral, simmered for 25 to 30 minutes and filtered through coffee filter into tea. Important notes before the trip. Some events may seem out of order, and this is because in this particular state of consciousness, or reality as I was experiencing it, the concept of time was non-existent. Instead, events happen at the same time, and are then shown in a particular order for the sake of my comprehension. 2. Some events or information may contradict. And 3. This is still a fresh experience. Happened about three nights ago as of writing this. Things still need to be processed fully. At around 4pm Friday evening, I received a package of what was labelled as Grade A Plus Amanita Muscaria Caps from Washington. 14 grams. I've been checking the USPS tracking, so I knew it would come that day, so I prepped myself beforehand. Fasting for 6 hours, meditation throughout the day to clear any negative thoughts, and a quick walk to clear my mind as well, knowing I'd be consuming this mushroom today. I opened the package and found 5 small to medium mushrooms, ranging from 1 inch to 1.5 inches. The colourings were almost a brownish yellow to a nice deep orange, with quite a few membrane spots. Near 5pm, I took all five small to medium cracker dry caps and put them into my mortar and pestle and began grinding them up. After about an hour or so, the Amanitas were now a fine powder, with just very small bits and chunks in them. At 10 past 6, I set the powder in a small pot of water, simmering for 30 minutes and stirring frequently. T plus zero hours. At 6.45, I put an album on and take a sip between each song, as I want to drink the brew slowly. After 20 minutes, the tea is gone, and I lay down and close my eyes. T plus 45 minutes. At the moment, I'm not sure if it's just a placebo effect or not, but I feel my thought process is slightly different. Almost a bit more analytical, simply thinking deeper. T plus 2 hours and 40 minutes. I must have either fallen asleep or been lost in thought completely. A call from my neighbour wanting to hang out snapped me back into it, not realising what state I was in currently. I said yes, and was later told that my words were slurred. I hung up the phone, and then stood up out of bed. I immediately noticed a loss of equilibrium, as well as the breathing wall effect, i.e. pulsating or breathing walls, objects, etc. Somewhat similar to alcohol intoxication, although without the nausea or discomfort. I laid back down and closed my eyes once again. T plus unknown. Before I know it, I am under the trance of an interesting hallucination. There is absolutely nothing but a single black dot in the middle of whiteness. I had no body, I was just consciousness. I look at this point, and something inside me just tells me not to go below it. Something else tells me to move. So I start moving away from this point for what felt like only a few minutes, and found what I believed to be the same dot or point. I was slightly confused so I moved on once again, and, once again, I found the same point. It did not feel like I was going in a circle, or around a sphere. In fact, I somehow knew that this nothingness was infinite. I then kept saying to myself something along the lines of, oh, it just keeps going, or it never ends. These phrases resonated with me in some way. As of right now, I'm not sure why though. I'd also like to point out that I know that this was a hallucination, and not a dream due to the fact that at one point during this, I very, very slightly faded back into reality and saw my legs kicking in my bed. T plus unknown. After a little while of this infinite loop, I stopped at the little black dot and simply watched it. The black dot tilted away and towards me, 90 degrees so that it then became a line. The line then shrunk into another dot and the cycle repeated for a while until reversing. Eventually, it went from a two-dimensional circle and formed into a three-dimensional sphere. This happened many, many times, almost infinitely, in an instant until the spheres formed a molecule. It was then clear to me that what I was witnessing was a three-dimensional creation at its simplest form. At this point, these molecules formed infinitely, and I took a step back to see what they were forming. What I saw was a memory of me having a talk with a friend. We were having a philosophical discussion about religion, at one point during the conversation we had, I said, who knows, I could be God, you could be God. 
And this is where everything got incredibly intense. T plus unknown. As soon as the words, I could be God, came out of my mouth, I lost knowledge of language. I didn't know how to speak, though I did understand the concept of words. Suddenly the word forgot popped into my mind. That was the only word I knew. So I begin thinking as hard as I can, trying to figure out what it is I forgot. Slowly, I started remembering words, word by word. I remembered them in an order that would form a sentence. I slowly started forming the sentence. This is how it started. And other similar sentences along those lines, like, this is what happened at the beginning. And as I remember each word, it comes with a memory to remember as well. The memories are almost like the life of the universe in reverse chronological order until the last memory and word. The memory being some sort of god or creator looking at the universe and saying, I want to experience this. The last word being forget. I am now in a blank nothingness. In my own mind, maybe. I ask myself a million questions in an instant. Hard questions like, what is life? Why is the universe? What is the point? And I gave the same exact answer for all of them. The thing is, my answer, as I conceived it at least, was beyond language. It has infinite meaning. The only thing that comes closest in linguistics, though, again, nowhere near the answer I gave, is the phrase, whatever you want. It may seem simple, and it is, but at the same time, a person can write for a hundred years straight and not fully portray the two second answer. T plus unknown to T plus 13 hours and 15 minutes. I am in the same blank space, but looking in on the universe from the outside. I say I, because at this point it feels as if it isn't even me, and I'm seeing through the eyes of another entity. The layout of the universe is in the concept of the no motion theory, where it states that if you take a single point in time, there is no motion, meaning there is no motion at any point in time. With that being said, it was, essentially, a model of the universe depicting every single point in time that has occurred or will occur. This entity points to a specific area. This location in the universe and around this specific time. I then witness the birth of creation, again, and then every single point in time up to the point I wake up. I'm awake now, and the time is a little past 8am. T plus 13 hours and 15 minutes. As I awake, I shoot straight up out of bed in shock, wondering if I'd just experienced what I'd actually experienced. Physically, I feel very rejuvenated, but mentally I'm quite confused. I step out of bed, walk around, hold my arms out, and touch various things around my room to see if I'm still tripping. After I realise I'm back in my own reality, the confusion is replaced with positive awe and disbelief. TLDR version. I ate some mushrooms and I saw the universe being born. And I was also god or something. Conclusion. It's been about a month after the trip and what a trip that was. This is the first time I've experienced the godhead and I gotta say, absolutely mind blowing. I got a lot out of this experience, especially spiritually and I'm usually not a spiritual or religious person. I didn't expect anything like this to happen, but not disappointed at all. As a matter of fact, I would try this sacred mushroom again. A true 10 out of 10 experience. Well, I've got to say, that's probably my favourite Amanita report yet, and it really just hammers home how effectively the Amanitas can thrust you into the Godhead, of thrust you into infinity, basically giving you the answer to what life is about. There's so many little amazing clues in this trip report that point towards the absolute truth that is basically God is an infinite mind that has chosen to forget itself so that it can experience itself in its entirety. It's using human ego to forget that it's God and it's using these little breadcrumb trails throughout your life that lead you up to awakening because if you're really serious about if you're really serious about this work you're going to experience multiple awakenings um your whole life is literally a breadcrumb trail that's leading you down these rabbit holes further and further uh, that awaken you deeper to your true nature as god or at least this is my perspective and this is the perspective that i feel this person um, will eventually come to the realization uh, of um, there's so many little clues in here. As soon as he acknowledges himself as God, um, it's sort of like a trigger point where 
he understands the infinite nature of the universe saying this is how it started a acknowledging yourself as god infinity infinity acknowledges itself it's sort of like it's sort of like the root of the quote therefore i am isn't it and he visits, visits all these memories of the universe because literally he is the universe he's not just his human ego self and yeah i, I really love this one it, um obviously you should be very careful with amanitas it can go extremely south but if it goes well it's probably probably might, might be the most effective mushroom for realizing god and realizing infinity um the only thing he was sort of missing here another caveat of uh, truth possibly the deepest truth of all is that it's all love it's all it all infinity is is just love exploring itself um it like he says what is life it's whatever you want it's whatever god wants god wants to experience everything it has no biases at all it makes no distinctions between anything there's no one thing that's better than another it just loves itself unconditionally infinitely forever and always has done so yeah buzzing report that uh I'm gonna try and find more amanitas um i've only done a few over the years I uh, really need to start focusing on them more because I think there's a lot of deep truths in these that uh, some, sometimes are missed in the other uh, psychedelic reports, especially the synthetic ones. There's definitely a different aura to mushrooms in general, especially Amanitas. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this one guys and it'll give you something to think about. See you later.